Math 6 Quarter 1 Week 5 Milk Base Let's learn about Problem Solving Involving Decimal Numbers Lesson 3 Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Math 6, we will discuss about problem solving involving decimal numbers. We are now in Lesson 3 of Week 5. For most essential learning competencies, solves routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of decimals and mixed decimals, including money, using appropriate problem-solving strategies. After going through this lesson, you are expected to solve routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication of decimals and mixed decimals, including money, using appropriate problem-solving strategies. Knowing the basic concepts and procedures in multiplying decimals in different ways, we can now solve real-life problems. Learning Task 1 The chart shows a list of activities and the approximate amount of energy required for the average adult. Answer the given questions in your notebook. In the first column, we have different activities like lying at rest, standing, playing volleyball, washing dishes, running per mile. And in the second column, we have the calorie per minute. So for number one question, how many calories are used by an adult who plays volleyball for 15 minutes? The calorie per minute of playing volleyball is 2 and 5 tenths. So multiply... 2 and 5 tenths, which is the calorie per minute, multiplied by 15 minutes, equals 37 and 5 tenths calories. The calories used by an adult who plays volleyball for 15 minutes is 37 and 5 tenths calories. Number 2. How many calories are used in standing for 1 hour and washing the dishes for 10 minutes? Standing. Calorie per minute is 1 and 20 hundreds. And washing dishes. Calorie per minute is 2 and 55 hundreds. First, multiply 1 and 20 hundreds, which is the calorie per minute for standing, by 1 hour. In 1 hour, there are 60 minutes. So multiply by 60. 1 and 20 hundreds times 60 equals 72 calories. Next, multiply 2 and 55 hundreds, which is the calorie per minute for washing dishes. Multiply by 10 minutes equals 25 and 50 hundreds calories. Now add 72 plus 25 and 50 hundreds equals 97 and 50 hundreds calories. Number 3. About how many calories used in running 20 miles? For 16 and 5 minutes. So running per mile is 10 and 5 tenths calorie per minute. Multiply the calorie per minute 10 and 5 tenths times 20 miles. And then multiply also to 16 and 5 tenths. The answer is 3,465 calories. Calories used in running 20 miles is 3,465 calories In solving routine problems, you can use at least one of the four mathematical operations And to help you clearly understand the problems, there are steps that you should follow First, understand the problem and determine the given data or facts Second, know what is being asked Third, make the number sentence and solve and fourth, check if your answer will satisfy the problem. Learning Task 2 Solve the given problems. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. How many centavos are there 
in 125 pesos and 75 centavos. Divide 125 pesos and 75 centavos divided by 100s equals 12,575 centavos. Number 2. From a roll of cotton containing 24 and 75 hundreds meters, a seller sold 9 and 85 hundreds meters at 22 pesos and 25 centavos per meter. How many meters were left? Subtract 24 and 75 hundreds meters minus 9 and 85 hundreds meters equals 14 and 90 hundreds meters were left. Number 3. Sam can ride his bicycle a kilometer in 6 and 2 tenths minutes. At this rate, how long will it take him to ride 4 kilometer? Multiply 6 and 2 tenths times 4 equals 24 and 8 tenths kilometer. He will take 24 and 8 tenths kilometers. For learning task 3, Solving word problems involving multiplication of decimal and mixed decimal numbers with or without regrouping. Use the four step in solving word problems. Do this in your notebook. Number 1. A clerk is paid 45 pesos and 25 centavos per hour for 40 hours a week, 1 and 50 hundreds times the regular rate for overtime and double the rate for a holiday. How much does the clerk get if he works overtime for 5 hours and 2 hours on holiday? What is asked? The amount of money earned by a clerk for working overtime. What are the given facts? 45 pesos and 25 centavos. 40 hours. 1 and 50 hundreds. 5 hours and 2 hours. Operation to be used are multiplication and addition. Number sentence, open and close parentheses, 40 times 45 pesos and 25 centavos, plus open and close parentheses, 45 pesos and 25 centavos times 1 and 50 hundreds, multiplied by 5, plus open and close parentheses, 45 pesos and 25 centavos times 2, multiplied by 2, equals n. Solution, 40 times 45 pesos and 25 centavos equals 1,810. Next, 45 pesos and 25 centavos times 1 and 50 hundreds. Then multiply by 5 equals 339 and 375 thousands. Plus, 45 pesos and 25 centavos times 2 multiply by 2 equals... 181. The clerk gets 1,810 for 40 hours or in a week. Overtime hours is 339 and 375 thousands. Holiday hours is 181. Then add. The answer is 2,330 and 375 thousands. Or the clerk gets... 2,330 pesos and 38 centavos. Number 2. A computer programmer earns a regular hourly rate of 50 pesos. If he worked 42 and 75 hundreds hours in a week, how much did he earn? What is asked in the problem? The amount of money earned by a computer programmer for working in a week. The given facts are, 42 and 75 hours and 50 pesos. Operation to be used is multiplication. Number sentence. 42 and 75 hours times 50 pesos equals N. Solution. 42 and 75 hours times 50 pesos equals 2,137 pesos and 50 centavos. He earned 2,137 pesos and 50 centavos in a week. Number 3. Arthur earns 1,350 pesos a day. He sets aside 10 hundreds of this for savings. How much does he save in a month? What is as in the problem? 
The amount of money Arthur saved in a month. What are the given facts? 1,350 pesos, 10 hundreds, and 30 means 1 month. Operation to be used is multiplication. Number sentence. 1,350 times 10 hundreds times 30 equals N. The solution? 1,350 times 10 hundreds times 30 equals 4,050 pesos. He saved 4,050 pesos in a month. Number 4. Mr. Fernandez has monthly pay of 5,450 pesos. The tax deducted from his monthly salary is 543 pesos. What is the actual pay he receives in a year? The as in the problem is the actual pay of Mr. Fernandez receives in a year. The given facts are 5,450 pesos, 543 pesos, and 12 months in a year. The operation to be used are multiplication and subtraction. Number sentence. 5,450 minus 543 times 12 equals N. Solution. Subtract 5,450 minus 543 equals 4,907 times 12 equals 58,884 pesos. He receives 58,884 pesos in a year. And number 5. Diane works 2 and 5 tenths hours a day from Monday to Friday and 3 and 75 hundreds hours on Saturday. If she is paid 25 pesos per hour, how much does she earn in a week? The as in the problem is the amount of money Diane earn in a week. The given facts are 2 and 5 hours in 5 days, 3 and 75 hours on Saturday, and 25 pesos. The operation to be used are multiplication and addition. Number sentence. 2 and 5 tenths times 5 plus 3 and 75 hundreds times 25 pesos equals N. Solution. Multiply 2 and 5 tenths times 5 equals 12 and 5 tenths plus 3 and 75 hundreds equals 16 and 25 hundreds times 25 equals... 406 pesos and 25 centavos. She earned 406 pesos and 25 centavos in a week. When you master how to solve routine and non-routine problems, you can also make and create your own problems by providing needed facts or data to complete a simple thought or problem. When you are creating word problems, make sure that the information needed is given to be able to solve the problem. For learning task 4, create your own problem using the following data. Solve your problems in your notebook. The problem is 256 pesos and 25 centavos per day earnings in a month. Create your own problem. Another one is 15 pesos per piece, 24 apples. How much in all? Create your own problem. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!